Hello there, Medicine here, and this is an episode of BJD and a cup of tea. Today's BJD and a cup of tea is all about mindfulness in the doll hobby. I've been really into mindfulness, meditation, all of that stuff. It's really helped me center myself, heal some old pains, and step into my authentic person and become aware of things that I need to work on and to let things go that, frankly, I can't control. One of the ways you can do mindfulness with your dolls is to do some maintenance. And that's just pick them up, pick a doll, um, brush off the dust, take it apart if you want to, clean off each part, put it back together, voila! And that takes a while, but in that time you can really focus in on the doll. Focus in on each strand of hair, focus in on the clothes, focus in on, on you have to focus when you're unstringing a doll and stringing it all back because they'll pinch you if you don't. I mean literally the, their little pieces will snap and it's all kinds of chaotic. So have a little spa day with your doll. That'll be a little bit of a mindfulness and it'll benefit your dolls because it's good to take care of them like that every now and then. Um, and do it one step at a time. Don't rush yourself. Um, just enjoy whatever it is. Maybe that's too much for you. Maybe you don't have like like me, I don't have a lot of time to sit there and dust these guys off, take them apart and wash them and do the whole thing, even though I'm sure they could benefit from it. That's not something that I have the time for right now. So another way to do it is maybe just dust them off a little bit. You could take some nice pictures and upload them somewhere. That's always fun. Um, I actually, doing photography is one of my best ways to be mindful because as soon as I get behind that camera and I'm looking through the lens, my mind zones in on what I'm looking at and the best way in the focus and the best way to get the picture of what I want. Um, I get completely zoned in when I do photography. So for me, that's my best way of being mindful and the best way for me in the doll hobby to use mindfulness is doing photos. Um, because especially if I'm trying to get a certain scene or a certain mood or convey a certain message, like I have to focus in on how to get the dolls posed just right, um, make sure the lighting is all correct, do a lot of stuff like that. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And my favorite part is when I get an amazing photo out of it. Like maybe I took like 20 pictures and only one turned out, but that one makes it worth it. I mean, my Ice Princess, Gwendolyn, she is the one, my favorite photos that I've ever done, favorite photo shoot that I ever did. And it was literally in my office at night on my rolling chair with her coat and with some fabric just draped over the chair and my, my Medusa lamp to get the lighting and it was, that's a, and then like a little bit of editing in Photoshop but the light, like, it was phenomenal. So mindfulness is cleaning the dolls, so that's an easy one. Doing photos of the doll, that's pretty easy too. A little bit more challenging if you're not a photographer. So again, if you're not the photo type, maybe you want to draw the dolls. Maybe you're an artist and you want to practice. Maybe you're not and you just want to do it. Drawing is a really fun way to relax. Just take your doll, do it like a still life. Set your, set your little area up like a still life and instead of a camera, Get your pencil or your color pencils or your watercolors or your acrylics and do a little like still life painting session, a little art session. Um, that's a fantastic way to just be mindful because when you do that, when you do art, when you're painting a, a subject and your subject is your dolls, again because this is a doll video, when you are drawing or painting your subject, all you are thinking about usually is how to capture that subject. You're looking at the light and the shadows, you're looking at color, if you're doing it in color, if you're not. Um, charcoal's another fun method. I like it, it's messy. I don't, I, if you're gonna use charcoal or any messy medium, make sure you wash your hands before touching your dolls again. You don't wanna get that all over your doll. Then you'll have to take it to the spa day and do the mindfulness cleaning on it. Um, so drawing your doll is a cool thing to do to focus in and let yourself be mindful. 
Another way is to just admire your dolls for a little bit, maybe hold them, maybe get your hands clean, wash them. I like to actually, it's a weird thing I do, I like to grab my doll's toes. It feels really neat. I don't know why, but I like to touch their feet, their toes. And that's, that's a weird thing I do, but it's just something. Maybe you like to touch their hands, and you want to touch their hands. Make sure your hands are clean before you touch. But something like that, even, just a simple touch to just kind of focus in and make sure you're feeling that. The whole point of mindfulness is to be aware of your body and your sensations, your physical sensations. And the more you do that, even for like two, three, five, ten minutes a day, the more you do that, the easier it is to be aware of your own feelings and to calm yourself when you're feeling stressed. Um, it's, it's, and then once you become aware of yourself and like how your feelings are and what your body is telling you, you become intuitive. And then you know what to do. Your body will tell you what it needs, and you can listen, and you can give it to it. If you are in the doll hobby, you are a BJD collector, there are ways to bring your dolls into that mindfulness practice. Everything you do can be part of mindfulness. And the more you get more mindful of your life, the more you can regulate, and the more you can step out of that fear response, the faster. Now, it's going to happen. You're going to get triggered. That just means you still have work to do. And it's, an, it's a never-ending work. It's a lifelong practice. It's a lifelong um, journey. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not, like, enlightened. I'm not, like, perfect. Um, I don't know if I ever will be. And that's okay. This is who I am. This is where I'm at. I'm okay with that. I am at the point now where I'm at radical acceptance, and that means looking at myself, seeing all of the shadow work, seeing all of the stuff, the false beliefs that I have about myself, the feelings of not being enough, the shame, which I discussed in another video, all of that. I look at it, and I can accept it. I'm like, that's just a part of who I am. Maybe those are beliefs that need to be changed, and I can work through those beliefs. Instead of thinking that my dolls are dusty, I don't spend enough time with them. I'm like, my dolls are dusty. It's time to clean them. Let's take a mindfulness spa day for each doll. Dial Star looks a lot better now that I picked him up. Our tunis will have to be next. The ball I mean, and that's just steps at a time. And maybe all I have is five minutes to dust a doll. Maybe all I have is two minutes to kind of wipe off the basics. That's okay. I, if I do that and I take those steps, before long, I will be back into it. And that's my, that's my goal for this channel, and that's what I mean by mindfulness. Slowly, one step at a time, whatever it takes, touch your dolls, admire your dolls, enjoy your dolls. You paid the money for them. Enjoy them however that means to you. And that is all I want to talk about with you today, about mindfulness. Just spend a little time in your hobby. Whatever it is that you love. Do you love cleaning? Do you want to clean your dolls and maintain them? Do you want to do some photos? Do you want to do some art and paints? Um, do you just want to touch on your dolls? Do you just want to... Maybe, maybe you're a writer, like me. Maybe you want to just look at your dolls and think of a little short story for them, and you can post that somewhere, anywhere, whatever. You don't even have to post it. It's just for you. Journaling is a really good way to be mindful. So journaling about your doll. It just, it's, it's a nice thing to kind of focus in on really really just let go of yourself for a bit and focus in on so i hope that you find your mindfulness i hope that you find joy in your doll hobby as i am trying to do and i hope that you step into your authentic self and healing until next time bye